Uh, those will be available for you if you wanted to read them on your own, kind of go deeper into them next week. And so if you look in the foyer, we'll have copies of those for you uh, if you'd like to take advantage of that. I would like to lead you in prayer, but first of all, I want to welcome guests. Uh, if you're here with us as a first-time guest, we're glad that you're here. Uh, hopefully you got a welcome packet on your way in. Uh, it's a little different Sunday for us. Uh, if you were here last week, you'll notice that we're taking a break from our First Corinthians study. Uh, we have some things that we would like to uh, to pray for, uh, specifically. Uh, many of you are struggling in different ways and you have different prayer requests, but uh, this church family and the school families in the community uh, has had a, a tragedy this last week. And so uh, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, just kind of go through some of the, uh, the events that took place. Uh, on Wednesday at around 5.30 in the morning, uh, Anna Wakefield, uh, Dave and Rachel Wakefield's daughter, uh, sister of Val and Moses and Noel was in a serious head-on car accident just um, here on Highway 212, just south of here, uh, southwest of here. A uh, driver in a Ford Explorer crossed the center line and and on his lane, uh, hitting her head-on. The driver of the other vehicle fled the scene, but by the grace of God, first responders arrived in time to get her to OHSU in critical condition. Anna sustained major injuries, including fractures to her legs, uh, collapsed lung, facial fractures, and had swelling in the brain that required emergency surgery on both sides of her skull. And she remains in ICU in critical condition and sedated even today. Uh, still unknown is the extent uh, of the damage to her brain. And so they're praying that uh, as time progresses, the brain heals and they begin to see signs of, um, of the Lord working in those areas. Um, there are some hopeful things and so I want to make sure to share those things as well. Uh, after the first day, her pupils were responding, which is a good sign. On Friday, her vitals looked good. Uh, when Dave asked her to, to give the thumbs up, if she could hear him, uh, she did. And she's been squeezing people's hands, which is great. Uh, the swelling to her face is decreasing. Uh, they were able to address the collapsed lung and even pull out some tubes, not needing them anymore because she's able to sustain on her, her own in that area. And even this morning, he said, uh, Dave said that her normal skin color is starting to return. And so those are all good things. And so now we're waiting. And we're waiting as they're waiting. Uh, and they're waiting to see if Anna can show increased responsiveness as um, they, they have the brain heal and they begin to test different neurological things. Uh, they're waiting for a brain MRI on Monday to locate places of concern. And they're waiting for a possible surgery on Monday to work on her fractured uh, fibula and tibia, which are on both uh, on opposite sides, opposite legs. And so while they wait, we get to wait. But there are things that you can do uh, while, while we wait and while we pray. Um, you can give. And so um, go ahead and put up the next slide if you would. There's a you caring site that's been set up. And this is an opportunity for you to make a donation if you'd like to help with the uh, medical expenses. Uh, you can send cards or things to decorate her room. Uh, they do ask no flowers or things with like glitter and that kind of thing, but uh, if you'd like to send cards, they, they would love to have those or things to put up on the wall. Uh, you can wear blue. And so I'm wearing this little heart today. That's what the volleyball team here at DCS uh, put together as kind of a campaign to remember to pray for Anna and to support her and her family. And so if you want to cut out a blue heart and wear that around, and people might ask you, what are you wearing that for? And you can tell them that you're praying for Anna Wakefield. Uh, that's uh, also a hashtag that's going, some of you don't know what a hashtag is. For those of you who know what a hashtag is, there's a hashtag, uh, love4aw, that you can use on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Uh, also, uh, I believe that after this service or sometime today, uh, Ashley Briggs is going to be selling t-shirts with that uh, image uh, out here in the, in the foyer. And the, all the proceeds are going to go to medical expenses for, for the Wakefields. And then you can pray. And if you'd like to stay informed on how to pray, uh, you can sign up for our prayer chain or you can go to a Caring Bridge site that's been set up. Uh, and so if you need help with that, uh, fill out a communication card, let us know, we'll help you. Um, but you go to Caring Bridge and you put in her name and you can stay up to date on all the, the different things that are going on and prayer requests that are being answered. And I do wanna give you an idea of how the Lord is using this. Uh, whenever we see these things, and even as we're gonna talk about today, the question comes, why? And, and we don't know. We don't know the answer. But here are some observations of things that have taken place since this happened. On social media, sorry. 
got to love the body of Christ. Um, on social media, thousands of people from around the world have responded by commenting that they're praying. The body of Christ from all over the place coming together to pray for this girl. Even the Noe Center, if you know the Wakefields, you know that they've been involved everywhere here, but, uh, but also at the Noe Center. Uh, on their official Facebook page, they have been uh, posting prayer requests for their whole circle. So we know at least Mexico's praying. Uh, we know that there are prayers around the world. On Friday night, the Multnomah University women's basketball team were Anna and Val are teammates. They had dedicated their game uh, to Anna and prayed together as a school. On Saturday, the 1A Volleyball District Tournament, which the uh, Lady e Eagles took third, was uh, dedicated to Anna, and they actually raised $1,200. Uh, for medical expenses and what's really cool about that is that was initiated not just by DCS but by uh, North Clackamas Christian uh, who where, where Dave used to coach and so there are multiple teams and schools who have been affected by Dave and Rachel's ministry and they are also uh, on board and praying and supporting we have received emails here from lo local church leaders who are asking how they can help and um, <laughs> letting us know that their, their congregations are praying. See, this is the body of Christ, folks. This is the body of Christ uniting. I'm sorry, what a wimp I am. And then uh, local community members have, have called, uh, you know, people who aren't even believers, who are calling and asking in this community how they can help. That's the impact of a life of someone who has lived for Jesus in a family that has been dedicated to serving and to loving Christ. And so in this, uh, it has been noted that several people have been able to hear the gospel because of this. And so we are, we are thankful for God's using this to bring that about. And so I want us to pray together uh, in, in a variety of ways. We're going to give thanks to the Lord for who he is. And then we're going to petition him for things that, uh, that we are desperately asking him to do. So let's pray. Our Father, first of all, we want to come to you and praise you and give thanks to you that you are a sovereign God. There's nothing that catches you off guard. There's nothing that happens and you say, oops, I didn't know that. Lord, we serve a sovereign God who is also good. And we are so thankful that you are good, that in your character and your nature of who you are, you are a good God who has good purposes, even when things don't look good. Lord, when things look hard, you are nevertheless good. Your character does not change. We are so grateful for that. We are thankful because that is the comfort that we go to of knowing that you stay the same. We're thankful for the grace that Anna survived the accident and that she's progressing. Lord, we are thankful for the first responders who were able to get there in time to sustain her and keep her, um, her body going while they could get to treatment. We're thankful for the the nurses and the doctors and the surgeons who have cared for her. Lord, we're thankful that you have provided a place that she can be where she will have the top-notch care. And we're thankful for the training that you have provided for these people, the revelation of, of what the body is so that they can work and uh, provide an environment for you to work. We're thankful for your church. Lord, we're so thankful for the body of Christ that has united that gives a testimony to the love that you have for us and the love that you have for Anna and her family. We're so thankful that that is a demonstration of the love of Christ. We're thankful that you have united people around this event in prayer, and we're thankful, Lord, that those prayers are coming up 24 hours a day around the world. We're thankful for how you are using this, how you are using the testimony of the Wakefield's life to, uh, to spread the glory of your name. And so, Lord, with all of that, we come to you thankful, but also hopeful and requesting some things. Lord, we appeal to you on the basis of your goodness that you would sustain Dave and Rachel and Moses and Val and Noel as they endure uh, this, uh, which is probably the hardest thing they've ever had to go through. Lord, I ask that you would use this to show yourself to them in ways they haven't seen before. That you would give them peace, that you would encourage them, and Lord, that you would sustain their relationships. Lord, that you would heal 
in various ways in any spiritual things that might be happening in their entire family because of this. Lord, we ask that you would heal Anna. We pray for a miraculous supernatural healing. Lord, that uh, if you would desire, we know that even now you could speak it and she could be totally healed and get up and walk away. We know that you can do that, Lord. We also know that there are many times that you have chosen to use doctors and nurses and how you have showed them how to address things like this in order to reveal your power. So we would ask for your will to be done. We ask for healing. We trust that you can do that, but we ask for your will to be done, that your perfect and good will that is always in our benefit as followers of you, that your will would be done in her, in her healing. We ask that you would return 100% of her brain function. We ask that you would heal her uh, bones that are broken. And Lord, we, we ask that you would prevent any blood clots from uh, causing problems in this process of healing. We ask that you would use her accident and her healing to reveal your power to this, this man who was driving the other car. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would bring him to you and that you would use this experience as a way of revealing truth to him, that he might find the mercy uh, that comes from you. Or that you would draw him and his entire family, they would be changed because of this. We ask that you would use this to call those who are maybe wavering or waffling in their faith. That you would use this as a wake-up call to stop being lukewarm, but to be uh, those who are committed to you 100%. And Lord, we ask that you would use this in our community. That you would unite your body, and that in doing so, uh, we would begin to be able to share in different ways the love Jesus that you have for us and that that would draw many into your kingdom. Lord, we don't, we don't thank you for these circumstances because, Lord, they're hard, but we thank you in them, knowing that you're always good. And we are grateful to you for the fact that you always do what is right. And so we appeal to that and we appeal to you. We ask, Lord, for others who are struggling different ways here. Lord, knowing that uh, there are many who are dealing with a variety of things, that you would bring peace and encouragement and hope, and, um, and we will trust you. Lord, now as we continue to sing and praise you, we are grateful for uh, what you have done in our lives and grateful that we get to respond in worship. And pray these things in Jesus' name. Everybody said. <laughs>